Crown Princess Mary is the wife of Crown Prince Frederick of Denmark, who is the heir to the Danish throne and the soon to be king of Denmark with this upcoming abdication. Uh, Crown Princess Mary was born Mary Donaldson in Tasmania, Australia, where she had a very, very normal upbringing. She had attended the local schools alongside her three siblings and her parents who were working in academia and um, publishing at the time. So she had a really normal down to earth upbringing. She moved to Sydney through work after university where she was working in marketing. Crown Prince Friedrich of Denmark was in Sydney for the 2000 Olympics with a, a royal group of friends. And one of his friends happened to know Mary's flatmate. And Crown Princess Mary was Mary Donaldson at the time. She didn't know who any of these people were. They met at a popular bar called the Slip Inn in Sydney. And everyone kept quiet on Crown Prince Friedrich's real identity until they had met a few times where he finally revealed that he was a future king. Mary and Friedrich continued a long distance relationship for about a year to a year and a half before Mary moved closer to Crown Prince Frederick, where she started to learn more about the Danish culture and the language. She's often said that she will probably never be perfect with the Danish language, but she tries so hard to connect with the country that's so important to her husband. Mary and Kate are so similar in lots and lots of ways with the work that they do, the roles that they've taken on as royal women, and really their importance and the endearment that they hold with the public of their respective countries. But I think the closest similarity and the most important one is their down-to-earth upbringing. Both the Princess of Wales and Crown Princess Mary of Denmark have said that their family and the support that they have from their family is instrumental in their success. And I think that's what's really attracted their other haves to them is this really down to earth, um, normal upbringing that grounds both the princesses and their spouses and gives a sense of normalcy to a very, very abnormal way of life. Crown Princess Mary has a really interesting fashion style because she's grown up with this sort of Australian bohemian style that's very, very laid back. And we see that a lot even today in her off duty style. But she's blending that with that sort of Scandinavian cool girl style along with this sort of royal uniform that we've come to know that is a bit prim and proper and traditional. Kate's style is so much more traditional. She's a real English rose and she sticks to really classic, clean lines, vintage silhouettes. And even when she's off duty, she's a British countryside girl at her heart in muddy wellies and um, you know cozy jumpers. And it's interesting to see the balance between the different countries and how that influences these royal women's style, because even though royal fashion almost has a uniform, it's coat dresses and long gowns and high heeled shoes and pillbox hats, all of that is consistent. But we see these little glimmers of Scandinavian style and the great Danish brands that Crown Princess Mary wears, whereas Kate loves to represent smaller British brands and bring a bit of British trendiness into her looks. It's so interesting to see how similar Kate and Mary are. Their looks are undeniably similar, that really thick, glossy, blow nut dark brown hair, the uh, strong eyebrows and the very natural makeup. Neither woman really goes for a really bold, flashy beauty look. And even when we look at their clothes, there's undeniable similarities. Crown Princess Mary and the Princess of Wales have worn the same Beulah dress several times. They had big glimmering moments in matching Jenny Packham ball gowns. And even in the brands that they wear, we see both of them in lots of L.K. Bennett, Alexander McQueen, Jenny Packham and Beulah, of course. And it's amazing to, to draw comparisons or to sort of see this trend in what is royal style. What do royal women wear? We see Crown Princess Mary wearing a lot of British fashion. And while the Princess of Wales is always flying the flag for British designers and Commonwealth designers, Crown Princess Mary sort of chooses to dip into those British designers because they are known for their traditional silhouettes, their craftsmanship, those really sort of royal clean lines that we've talked about. And it makes it easy for Crown Princess Mary to sort of step into her uniform, whereas Kate utilizes it both as sort of an ambassadorship for the United Kingdom for British fashion, but also to achieve that perfect royal look. As Crown Princess Mary steps into this new role of queen, we will see her platforms reach an even larger spotlight and all the work that she does with children, with the people of Denmark, will be on broadcast on a bigger stage, which is great for the Princess of Wales, 
as she worked really closely with Crown Princess Mary of Denmark on her visit to Denmark last year, where she promoted the Princess of Wales's Shaping Us campaign, learning more about early childhood and working with the Early Childhood Foundation to push that research forward. So this friendship can only mean good things for the causes of both the Crown Princess, or the soon to be Queen and the Princess of Wales. As these relationships really work like diplomatic relationships, these friendships can help um, form stronger bonds, but also create ex increased exposure for the causes that they're working so hard for.